All right, guys. This is uh, Mr. Ipswich. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get information that I need to get to the public out all in videos quickly, compactly, because I could make different videos for different topics. But I'm just gonna get certain things out. So this video is gonna have more than one topic. So it's titled uh, "Helpful Legal Advice for Women." So listen to this video because it's helpful for everybody, not just women, when it comes to the legal system. But there's a lot of good information in here. So let me just set the tone and explain things uh, to you guys. Um, yes, I'm representing myself in court. Um, I'm an occultist, so I have all kinds of education. Um, some of you may have known I was a criminal justice major, Youngstown State University, but there's a lot of other education that I don't even talk about because it's, you know, I have pretty much every occult degree possible. Um, and I will continue my advancement while I already am. That, there's a lot I can't say. I'm always cryptic, you know that. Okay, so, first of all, I'm not just a you know, a deadly weapon, killing machine. Um, I'm also a nerd. And I'm also, like, the best dancer on the planet, literally. Um, so, there's a lot that you guys did not know or that I may have slightly alluded to. Um, some of you guessed that I am a professional and amazing producer. That is true. Um, and some of you saw me kind of fucking around dancing on YouTube, but that wasn't anything. I was just being a goofy motherfucker. I'm literally a better dancer than Chris Brown or Michael Jackson put together. And this has to do with the legal, the legal stuff, because some of you watching the video probably aren't even going to comment, but, you know, all over Ohio and Michigan, I'm known. And there's hundreds, maybe thousands of videos uh, people have taken and photographs people have taken of me. And don't worry, I'm going to I'm gonna take care of Andy and he's going to have to deal with, you know, litigation and all that, the dude in Bowling Green, who tried to exploit me because I brought tons of money to his club and thousands on thousands of people to his club. And, uh, you know, the same with Ann Arbor where... Thousands and thousands of people I brought to Rick's and other clubs, and uh, I'm still to this day worshipped on campus in Ann Arbor. Like, I, if I go there, there's pussy waiting for me all the time. Um, so, imagine being Bruce Lee, imagine being Michael Jackson and Chris Brown, and then imagine being Bill Gates all in one. Exactly. That's not even normal. So you can understand why pseudo white supremacy would try to would try to fuck me over and stop me from succeeding. So there's a lot of stuff, as you guys know, I'm full of secrets and I, I have this life that you don't know anything about and I've been a very busy motherfucker. So I'm gonna put the pieces together best I can without giving you too much information. I am an, I am an occultist within the very nature of being an occultist I hold secrets. I am the keeper of secrets, right? So people say, why won't you tell me this? Why won't you tell me that? Because it's hidden. It's a secret for a reason. And if I told you, I, if I told you everything, I mean, look how people are trying to turn on me and cause me trouble. Why would I tell people what I know? I obviously wouldn't. And they say those who, those who do don't teach and those who don't do teach. That's why for these past few years, I really haven't been teaching much, and I, and I do. Don't contact me for consulting unless you're in that bracket because, you know, now consulting is 100000 an hour. So I'm not even consulting with ordinary people anymore. I don't, I don't even have time for that. Okay, so as you guys may have guessed, the legal system has been trying to uh, stop me from... They've been trying to dominate my pussy... And they have been trying to get the girls to validate their bullshit and to get to get people money. So they wanted to try to falsely accuse me and then get these girls to sue me, which is now the other way around. Their cases are destroyed, 
and I'm suing all of the uh, the criminals, the supposed victims. So um, with the case that's going on right now, um, I mean, it's already done. The girls are being sued. Um, before before it even goes any farther, they're they're being sued like immediately, and um, I don't have to worry about a lawyer doing it because I'm a lawyer. Um, technically not yet, but technically yes. It's a long story, so for legal reasons, I'm not a lawyer, right? But I can definitely um, I can definitely deal with this myself because that's what I do. I have I deal with people. But I always keep the power and do everything myself. If you want something done right, I do it myself. So um, I'm handling the litigation. You can go to my website, website at higheststatuscorporation.com, uh, and you will see uh, it's, a, it's a project uh, you know, that I'm putting together. Uh, I've got a lot of coding and stuff to do. Um, you know, I have a litigation department, a uh, master legal department, and all of that's been taken care of. So... Um, right now, I am illegally on ankle monitor, right? Illegally on ankle monitor at my place in my trailer. And I have tons of clients, all kinds of stuff to deal with. I have bills to pay. Now, there's a rumor that I have like over 100 cell phones and like over 100 laptops. And even if that's true, it doesn't fucking matter because as far as everybody knows, I have one cell phone. As far as the legal system knows, I have one cell phone. So I had to go pay my cell phone bill, and they were giving me crap about it because it was on the weekend, and they were, like, literally delaying me. And then after I just got irate and said, you do understand, you have to be able to contact me, so, well, you know, I have to go pay my cell phone bill. Duh. And so I go pay my cell phone bill, and then the cell phone place is closed, right? So I go back and then I tell them what happened and that they need to have the EMU officer contact me, right, and call me, not call me, excuse me, but through the ankle monitor, tell me to come to the office so I can get permission to go pick up Discovery, right, because supposedly I haven't seen Discovery yet, and to go pick up and, and go pay my cell phone bill. So instead, I get a, a thing on my ankle monitor that says, call EMU. Well, I can't call because my cell phone doesn't work. Right? And even if I had two cell phones, they both don't work. So, an officer is supposed to come, or they're supposed to contact me and tell me to come down to the office through the ankle monitor. Well, if they don't do that, I'm not going to leave because they want me to leave so they can say that I'm trying to escape, so they can try to put me in jail. Because they have no case. And Jake Carr is the EMU guy that supervises me. Um, he keeps talking shit to my face like I don't understand that I'm more intelligent than he is. When he heard I was um, representing myself legally, he was talking shit like, Oh my god, you're representing yourself? That's a bad idea. No, it's a good idea. Instead of having all these racist white, uh, white guys, public defenders, trying to uh, uh, get me convicted off something that they could drop easily. All the cases are bullshit. I'm going to talk in detail about that. Um, and it's going to help you uh, help you guys out when it comes to the legal system. Uh, but you have to understand, giving out legal advice is just like giving out any other kind of advice. Most people are ignorant to it, so you keep your information because that's how you make money. So if people know, if people know enough, they can do it themselves, right? So um, the legal system wants to keep you ignorant just like any other business. As for me, my skills are ridiculous. People can't even humanly do what I do. No one's supposed to be able to do what I do. Imagine Bill Gates having the ability to dance better than Michael Jackson. Let's say Steve Jobs having the ability to, better, to dance better than Michael Jackson, having ripped muscles, and being able to fight better than Bruce Lee. That's not even fair. People don't even have a chance against me. People hate my fucking guts. Um, this whole thing has been about money and pussy and power. Money, sex, and power. So, um, you know, without interference, you know, like the most beautiful women are, you know, doing whatever I want. And if you want to learn about being wealthy and being in a fucking trailer, because as you guys know, I went broke, but I had to go broke to protect my assets. 
So that's why I had public defenders who were supposed to do their job, but instead they tried to use that uh, to set me up instead of giving me a uh, fair uh, treatment, which they would just drop the cases. Because you have to understand with Andrew McCarthy in the toe sucking case, all he had to do was say, there's no evidence, right? All he had to do was say, there's no evidence to prove that you even met these girls. Period. At least for most of them. So the fact that he had me incriminate myself, right? And I can go on and on, but that right there is like, oh, he's a bad lawyer. He's trying to set this dude up. But once I get into everything, you'll understand what's going on. Same with, same with uh, Stevenson. He could have just said, well, we have no proof that you even met her. And then besides that, he tried to make it look like he gave me a fair trial when he completely tried to screw me over. Also tried to uh, make the public think that I pled insanity just to try to make me look guilty while he told the damn judge himself that he knew I was innocent on record. And here's the whole point. It's, it's a lot of mind games. The legal system isn't just understanding the legal system and the laws. It's understanding people, psychology. The legal system forces people into situations. Um, I know all about it. You know, I'm the, I am the detective when it comes to that stuff. So there's a lot you don't know about me. Let me put it this way. There is an occult world, a hidden world, that people are not aware of unless you're in it, unless you're dealing with it. And you can be dealing with it and not be aware of it. Think about that. Um, so, um, I'm a nerd. I'm a sexy nerd. I have my hair like this because girls like women like to uh, rub their hands through my miniature afro. Right? They like, they said it feels like wool. And, um... You know, I want to make it clear that people who have power do not flaunt it in the way people want them to. And people want me to act a certain way when it's not a good time. So showing my hand um, and being superhuman all the time may not always be the best strategy. Sometimes I have to play dumb. Sometimes I have to play like I don't have what I have. Sometimes you have to sacrifice, okay? There's, there's multi-millionaires who live in tiny apartments. Do you know why? Because they know about human nature and they know about money. When you have serious power, serious wealth, people get dangerous. It's not even a joke. Um, so you notice I've never really talked about business. I've never really talked about wealth on my channel. I never talked about uh, wealth, uh, financial deception, because this kind of stuff is highly sought after, and people want to know what I know. They want to... They want to figure it out. And I have years of experience. So, no, that's not happening. Um, so, if you want to learn about coding, if you want to learn about hacking, if you want to learn about vampires, if you want to learn about a lot of different things, check out my website. I'm not even going to tell you about it, but it'll be interesting to read anyway. And um, my whole point here is uh, the legal system is... Uh, full of misdirection and bullshit. That should help you out. And I'm here right now, illegally, stranded, with no, bo no one contacting me. My cell phone doesn't work. Uh, and I haven't been able to go out and pay my bills. I haven't been able to pick up Discovery. Now, they don't want me to pick up Discovery. Discovery is the supposed evidence that the prosecutor would have to try to convict you. He doesn't have any evidence against me at all. This prosecutor is guilty of um, withholding exculpatory evidence, misuse, and all kinds of stuff, prosecutorial uh, misconduct, all this stuff, right? But he's not going to just admit this, but that doesn't matter because he's already screwed. I've already taken care of that. So my whole point here is they don't want me to pick up the discovery. So they're trying to give me a hard time. I have court the 23rd, and I've been here all week. It's Thursday now. I contacted them Sunday. Monday they should have contacted me. It's fucking Thursday, and they haven't called me back. So I just wanted to make that public record, right? Um, and you need to understand that uh, with all of the cases, they tried to use my Instagram. So you have to understand something. They went to my Instagram, and they have pictures of a handsome, attractive, entrepreneur, badass martial artist with washboard abs with women who were kissing him and videos of me with women's feet who were letting me kiss their toes and suck their toes and take video camera of their toes and they tried to use that evidence to convict me how does that tell people that I'm a
toe sucker that I'm sucking people's toes against their will. That should tell people I'm attractive, I'm the alpha male, and I'm getting what most people don't get. That's just straight up racism right there. But don't worry, their cases are done for. And um, my whole point here is uh, you have to use your brain in the legal system because they try to trick you. That's why everything's pending. Even if everything had gone through, the appeals had gone through and they were denied, it doesn't matter. Their shit's just done anyway. So supposedly everything's pending. Um, and then they don't want me to handle the appeals in Bowling Green. They don't want me to handle all the cases and stuff myself. But I'm, I'm doing that anyway. So imagine why they are telling me it's a bad idea for me to represent myself. Right? Imagine why they keep trying to call me indigent. When they, when they keep checking me out online knowing there's no way I'm indigent. They see my websites. They see, they've seen all this stuff and they're saying, oh, he must be indigent. Because you don't have to make a lot of money to have a fucking lawyer, dude. You can make 25000 a year and be able to afford a fucking lawyer. So what the fuck are they trying to do? Why, why are they trying to not let me talk in, in court? Like, just so you know, um, the Bowling Green trial, I, I was going to testify. He didn't let me testify. It's my right to testify. So guess what? He fucked himself. I, if I want to testify, I can testify. Exactly. Right? He withheld all kinds of stuff. We had a defense. He wouldn't do the defense. He tried to change it on the last spot. He tried everything. He tried to call me a weirdo. I'm talking about uh, William Stephenson, the guy who was supposedly supposed to be representing me. He tried to change it at the last minute and force the situation. So he's done for. He's absolutely done for. So um, my whole point here is the legal system is just full of shit. Don't take it seriously. My record, my record is as good as clean. Also, uh, there are hackers. So if if you guys notice, certain comments have been deleted, messages have been deleted from my email. You didn't get responses from me. If you want programs, Magic Propaganda has been released. Just so you know. So if you didn't know that, most people already know that because they've got their programs and signed their contract. Every program you can think imaginable is ready. So just contact me. I'll put it on my website. All these programs, every single, every single one you can think of is ready. You can you can purchase it, right? But um, uh, hackers have been deleting comments, and hackers have been deleting uh, messages. So just re-comment me and re-message me, over and over again, and I will let you know when the coast is clear. But that's what's been going on. And of course Toledo has something to do with it. Of course the legal system has something to do with it. Ashley from Metro PC and uh, Blankly. What's his name? Something Blankly. I have his picture and his name. Um, Dylan Blankly has, been, has, has admitted to hacking me. Exactly. So, so that's why security is going up. But what they didn't know is I set a trap anyway because I kind of let them hack me. Anyway, it's a long story, but I had to get evidence on these motherfuckers to just shut these people down. Because I'm dealing with investors' money, I'm dealing with people's uh, personal life, I'm a busy motherfucker. And don't worry, you guys won't see me dance for years, but once I start dancing, I will be monetizing off that shit. Because I've been dancing in clubs for years, like, years, motherfucker. And I've gone through the whole gambit of people going crazy, women throwing pussy at me, guys trying to start fights. You know, in the occult world, some people would say I'm Blade, and I was fighting werewolves and vampires. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole nother story, motherfucker. That's a whole nother story. You don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's a joke. Anyway, so, um, this is Draco Alpha Ipswich. I'm not Mr. Jones. I never was Mr. Jones. Everybody's doing me by Draco, okay? Because I'm Draco Alpha Ipswich, right? So, I will talk to you later, but I'm updating you guys. Women, uh... I hope you took some advice from that because I really told you too much about the criminal justice system. If you didn't catch that, then you might not be that intelligent because I really just told you a lot of shit that could help you out if you ever get arrested or deal with the legal system. Same for you men out there. Um, so yeah, I know how to cold. Right? I know how to build websites. I know how to hack. I know all that stuff. All of that. But I'm fucking busy and I'm delegating and doing all kinds of stuff. Right? And people want me to explain everything that I'm doing. I can't tell you. People are too wicked. You're too fucking evil for me to tell you what the fuck I'm doing. Use common sense. 
I can't tell you what I'm doing. And, and by the way, I cannot be sued. I don't have to worry about litigation. I'm completely protected. Asset protected. Everything's protected. You know, I know the whole business world. I know how to structure things. You can't even touch me. That's why people pay me to help them, right? So just check out my website and you'll see what the fuck's going on. All right? Um... And I will see you motherfuckers in court on the 23rd. Growing my hair out.